you guys when is Andrew I'm gonna show you guys how to install VMware tools or how to actually manually install it because sometimes when you try to do it on the fly where it's actually supposed to mount this thing manually it, I mean automatically it doesn't so here's how you fix that this is what I'm talking about so you install your VM you set it up you're ready to go you want that full screen functionality or you want to run it in unity mode and you can't so all you got is this little square box right here alright so the problem is is that for some reason with Ubuntu I don't, I'm not sure about other um, operating systems if this happens but it mount Ubuntu when I install it mounts um, two virtual CD-ROM drives and that screws up the auto mount for VMware tools so you have to mount it manually so first thing you want to do is shut down the system that's what I'm gonna do right now then we're gonna go into CD-ROM you gotta actually load it on the first one I tried loading it on the second CD-ROM drive and that doesn't seem to work for some reason so you're gonna want to locate the VMware's VMware Tools ISO and that's located in C drive program files x86 uh, VMware VMware player and you see the different um, VMware tools installs for FreeBSD, Linux, Netware, Solaris, Windows, and so on. So, being as this is a Linux uh, distribution, we're going to use Linux ISO and load it there. So, what will happen now is when you start the virtual machine, it's going to go ahead and actually mount that ISO, which will eventually allow us to install VMware tools which is the point of the video so I'll give it a minute let this load up okay 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 Go ahead and log in. I'm going to show you guys how to install it. The whole installation takes probably about two minutes. You might also notice that after you actually install VMware Tools, Unity Mode won't work with the default um, desktop manager that comes with Ubuntu. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a bit sick. Um, just got to mind the cough a bit. Bear with me. All right, so actually, let me do this. Let me show you how it's actually mounted now. So now you can see VMware Tools is mounted. So there's two ways you can install this thing. You can extract it here using the GUI, which I personally don't like doing. It takes actually takes longer. So I'm gonna do show you how to do it command line. What you wanna do is open a terminal. Then you're gonna CD to where it mounted to. If you're un, if you're not sure where something's mounted if you look in the file manager and you highlight it, well you just hover the mouse over it'll actually show you where things are mounted so as you can see here it's um, under media a green VMware tools so when we go to the terminal we're gonna CD into media a green VMware tools alright so let's look at what's in here so we got the manifest text run upgrader sh and we have the upgrader tools and we just want the actual tarball so we're gonna copy this to some directory what I'm gonna do is copy this to my downloads directory so we're gonna run CP VMware tools to slash home a green downloads and we're gonna CD into that directory we copied it into alright now we're gonna extract this tarball. Just take a few seconds. All right. So now we uh, we change directory into the directory we want to go into, and we want to run this VMware installer .pl file. So what this is is just basically a script that's going to tell it how to set up um, VMware for VMware tools for our particular um, operating system. 
So we type uh, dot slash VMware tools, sorry, VMware's dash install.pl. But we can't run it as a regular user, so we got to use a uh, super user. In this case, we use sudo. So after you run that, you got to put in your administrative password or your super user password. And it's going to give you a bunch of directories to install things into. I stick with the default ones for now, just for demonstrating purposes. But you can actually specify where you want these files to go. So right now, we're just going to leave it all default. Enter, enter, enter. Anything it asks us for, we're just going to leave the same. All right. Initializing. Give it a few more seconds. It's, all right, there we go. All right. So path to GCC appears to be valid. Yep. Don't want to change it now. Like I said, I'm just leaving everything default. Okay, sometime today. doesn't take this long. Alright, so it looks like we got it fully installed. So now you're probably thinking it'll work at this moment, but it won't. So we still don't have full screen functionality. The reason is is because certain things that need to be loaded are not, so we want to log out and then log back in. So we're going to log out. All right. Punch in password. Should be able to get full screen mode now. Yep, there we go. So this is what my favorite feature on um, VMware tools is the actual full screen functionality. So the second thing I want to put in this video is how to enable Unity mode. So when you click on it now as it is, uh, you got it successfully installed and all of that. So now you want to check out this Unity feature, which is pretty cool. Um, it says a virtual machine cannot enter Unity mode. Check that Unity is supported for the guest operating system and that the latest version of VMware Tools is installed. So we're going to assume that all of this stuff is already, you know, set and it's updated all of this and it's good to go. What the actual problem is, is the desktop manager we're using right now is not compatible with Unity mode. So we have to install another one. And that's what we're going to do. Um, so we open the terminal again. We say sudo app get install gnome shell and this should um yes so I know for a fact that um Unity mode's actually compatible with um this manager so it should it should work fine I'm sure there's other ones out there but I'm not. I don't know, I haven't really tested them, but I don't know, I, I don't mind using GNOME, works pretty well for me. So we're going to go ahead and let this thing finish installing. Go grab a coffee, drink some water, maybe hit the washroom, I don't know. This looks like it's going to take a bit of 57 minutes. Somehow, I don't think that's correct. <laughs> Actually, let's go into full screen mode now. Why not? Ah, there we go. 
All right, so now we want to choose a display manager. <clears throat> and it says it's a program that provides graphical logging capabilities, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. I stick with LightDM. Moving on. All right, so we got it installed now. <clears throat> you would think that Unity mode would work now. Okay, let's get out of full screen mode. All right, so you'd think Unity mode would work now, but it doesn't. So you still get the same error about it um, not being supported by Guest OS. What the problem is is that you got to log out and then switch to that GNOME shell that we just installed. So we log out. <clears throat> And we uh, click on that right there to switch from the Ubuntu default desktop to the GNOME one, which is actually supported. So log back in with my password. All right. So once you get logged in, you'll see that this will now be enabled. That's it. There we go. So now we can get into Unity mode. And what Unity mode does is make it look like it's Windows, but it's actually not. So when you click over here, you, what you can do is open terminals on your desktop, games, uh, internet, whatever. You just use your machine sort of like it's Windows, but it's not. And it's actually pretty cool. So there you got like a blend of a Windows OS with a Linux um, VMware running in the background and you can do whatever you got to do without you know mucking about in the VM but you know you get stuff done it's pretty cool so yeah that's it in a nutshell